Hey everybody, in the last video we talked about how to remove dark circles around your eyes. In this video, however, we're going to talk about how to smooth the skin and make it look like this. So, let's dive right into it. I'm going to select this layer that we just removed the dark circles from, and I'm going to duplicate that layer. And now I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur on this layer. So, that's this thing right here, Gaussian blur in the adjustments. And now I'm going to swipe my finger anywhere on the canvas in order to increase the Gaussian blur. And what we're looking for here is the level of smoothness that you feel okay with. So if you're going for extra silky smooth skin, like almost computer generated skin, well, you could go like very, very far, something like this. And um, that would be pretty unrealistic. So what I'm looking for here is just to sort of smooth out wherever there's changes in color. You see there's sort of dark spots and white spot, dark spot, white. I'm gonna try to get rid of most of that. So somewhere around there is where I would draw the line. I would not go any further than this. I'm just gonna go into the layers panel here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to apply a mask on top of this layer, okay? So the layer that we added Gaussian blur onto, that is going to have a mask on it. And the mask is going to, well, I'll show you what we're gonna do with the mask in just a few moments. So let's add the mask, and now I'm going to invert this mask. So currently the mask is completely white. White shows when it comes to masks, and black hides. So if we invert this, you'll see now the Gaussian blur layer has been hidden, but the layer itself is still active. So now check out what happens if I draw with white onto the layer mask. So I'm just gonna use a medium air press for this, make sure that the size is a little bit bigger because we're gonna be covering larger areas. And we're just going to draw very lightly over it. And you see like this spot right here, it, it even got masked out as well. I'm not too worried about that right now. If this was me, then I might reconsider. Some birthmarks are very characteristic, so you don't wanna get rid of those. But for now, let's just continue. So when it comes to lines like these and here, you can't really go over those because that's just gonna smooth it out like so. And then, you know, that's not how noses look. So just make sure when you're going around harsh lines that you reduce the size of the brush and just go sort of around it. We can always make changes in the future. That's the beautiful thing about masks. If you do happen to make a mistake and you didn't notice it, you know, you can just go in afterwards with black and then we can just reveal it like so. All right, so now that we've drawn over the areas that we want smoothened, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to show you what happens if we touch the opacity slider. So on the layer itself, if you tap on the N right here and play with the opacity just a little bit, you can see what happens. You know, if we just want a little bit smoother skin, we can do something like this. So this, to me at least, this looks a little bit more natural, but the roughness of the skin is a little bit reduced. Now what I might do to finish this image off is I would actually merge these three images together by pinching them together like so. And then I would take the clone tool and I would just take care of a few of these dark spots that I'm seeing around the place. Like there's a little bit of a dark spot here and I don't, I don't know if you can notice it. If I just do a little bit like this, uh, we can take care of that. So now that we've smoothened out the skin, well, what is next? Well, how about adding some vibrancy to the lips and the eyes? That is exactly what we're gonna do in the next video, right over here, where we're gonna add some lipstick and eyeshadow to this photo. To check that out, click on this link right over here.